Round face. Round face shape affects approximately 20 to 25% of the population, characterized by face width nearly equal to face length, full cheeks, soft angles, and rounded jawline and hairline. Round faces retain the full-cheeked appearance associated with childhood longer into adulthood, triggering perceptions of youthfulness, innocence, and approachability that can create social advantages. The perceived approachability makes round-faced individuals effective in social roles, requiring cooperation and trust rather than dominance or intimidation. The facial structure often correlates with higher body fat percentage and the ability to store energy efficiently, which in ancestral contexts provided survival advantages during food scarcity. For ancestral groups facing periodic famine, individuals who stored fat efficiently in the face and body survived when lean individuals starved. The round face honestly signaled energy reserves that meant its bearer could survive lean times, maintain fertility during nutritional stress, and had the metabolic efficiency to thrive in variable environments. From an evolutionary perspective, the metabolic efficiency associated with round faces and the social advantages of appearing approachable and youthful provided distinct adaptive niches different from the authority and dominance that angular faces conveyed. However, round faces carry specific disadvantages. They are perceived as less mature, less competent for leadership, and less authoritative than angular faces, creating barriers in competitive hierarchies. In modern environments with constant food availability, the efficient fat storage that was adaptive becomes maladaptive, with round-faced individuals more prone to weight gain. The youthful appearance that created approachability in some contexts led to being taken less seriously in contexts requiring gravitas. Still, in ancestral contexts where surviving famine was more important than social dominance, where approachability facilitated cooperation, and where appearing youthful and fertile enhanced reproductive success, round face shape provided advantages that justified its genetic maintenance despite leadership disadvantages. Square face. Square face shape affects approximately 15 to 20 percent of the population characterized by face width, nearly equal to face length, but with strong angular features such as prominent jaw, broad forehead, and defined angles rather than soft curves. What makes this powerful is association with dominance, competence, and testosterone. Square faces, particularly in men, correlate with higher testosterone levels and honestly signal physical strength, competitive ability, and masculine traits. The prominent jaw and strong angles create perceptions of leadership capability, trustworthiness for specific tasks requiring competence and aggression, and physical formidability. For ancestral human groups, square-faced males had advantages in male-male competition, leadership selection, and contexts requiring perceived physical capability. The facial structure honestly signaled the hormonal profile that created it. High testosterone during development produces the prominent jaw and strong angles, meaning square faces were hard to fake signals of genetic quality for specific traits. In warfare, hunting, and physical competition, square-faced individuals commanded respect and held advantages in intimidation and social dominance. From an evolutionary perspective, the association between square faces and testosterone-linked traits meant that square-faced males succeeded in competitive contexts, even if they faced costs in cooperative contexts where approachability mattered more. However, square faces create specific social costs. Square-faced individuals are perceived as less warm, less approachable, and more threatening than round-faced individuals, creating disadvantages in contexts requiring cooperation and trust. In women, square faces violate feminine norms in many cultures, creating social penalties for features that in men would be advantageous. The hormonal profile associated with square faces correlates with traits that can be socially costly, higher aggression, reduced verbal ability, and personality traits that create conflict. Still, in ancestral contexts where male competition for status determined reproductive success, where leadership required perceived competence and dominance, and where physical formidability provided tangible benefits in conflict and hunting, square face shape provided advantages that outweighed costs in cooperative contexts. Oval face. Oval face shape is considered the most common and balanced facial structure worldwide, affecting approximately 25 to 30 percent of the population. This shape is characterized by proportions where face length is approximately 1.5 times the width, with gently rounded edges, slightly wider cheekbones than forehead or jaw, and no dramatically prominent features. What makes it remarkable is aesthetic versatility and social perception of balance. Oval faces closely match the mathematical proportions that cross-cultural studies associate with attractiveness and trustworthiness. For ancestral human groups, individuals with balanced facial proportions signaled developmental stability since the ability to grow symmetrically despite environmental stresses indicates good genes and healthy development. Faces that deviate dramatically from population averages can signal developmental problems, genetic abnormalities, or environmental stresses during growth, making average, balanced faces attractive as signals of mate quality.
The oval shape also provides no extreme features that would typecast individuals into specific social roles or trigger specific stereotypes, creating flexibility in social presentation. From an evolutionary perspective, the attraction to averaged balanced facial proportions may reflect adaptive mate choice, preferring faces that signal developmental health and genetic quality while avoiding those that signal problems. However, the same balance that creates universal appeal also creates a lack of distinctiveness. Oval faces are less memorable than faces with striking features, can blend into crowds without commanding attention, and lack the specialized advantages that extreme facial structures provide for specific functions like cold adaptation or heat dissipation, as we will see later. Long face. Long face shape affects approximately 10 to 15 percent of the population, characterized by face length substantially greater than width, creating elongated proportions with long vertical dimension from forehead to chin. What makes this significant is its correlation with specific population ancestries and its climate adaptation. Long faces correlate with narrow nasal passages and elongated facial sinuses that warm and humidify cold, dry air before it reaches lungs, representing cold climate adaptation. Populations from northern Europe and cold regions show higher frequencies of long faces, suggesting this facial structure evolved as thermal regulation for breathing in extreme cold. For ancestral groups in glacial environments, long faces provided respiratory advantages. The extended nasal passages and facial sinuses warmed frigid air before it reached sensitive lung tissue, preventing thermal damage and enabling sustained physical activity in extreme cold. The facial structure also correlates with taller stature and ectomorphic body types, adapted for heat dissipation. However, long faces carry social disadvantages. They are perceived as less attractive on average than balanced proportions, with elongation creating perceptions of sadness, unfriendliness, or unusual appearance. The deviation from typical proportions can make long-faced individuals memorable, but not always in desired ways. The narrow dimensions can make faces appear gaunt or undernourished, even at healthy body weights. Still, in ancestral cold climate contexts, where respiratory thermal regulation was essential for survival, where sustaining physical activity in extreme cold determined hunting success, and where preventing lung damage from frigid air inhalation was life or death important, long face shape provided functional advantages that outweighed aesthetic disadvantages. Heart face Heart face shape affects approximately 15 to 20 percent of the population, characterized by wide forehead and cheekbones tapering to narrow, often pointed chin, creating an inverted triangle or heart-like silhouette. What makes this distinctive is its strong association with femininity and youthful attractiveness. Heart faces emphasize features associated with high estrogen, that is, wide-set eyes, prominent cheekbones, and delicate jaw, creating perceptions of beauty, approachability, and feminine grace. For ancestral groups, women with heart-shaped faces signaled high estrogen levels and reproductive potential, making them attractive mates. The facial structure indicated hormonal profiles associated with fertility, and the perceived beauty created social advantages in mate selection. The emphasis on upper facial features, eyes and cheekbones, drew attention to areas used in social communication and emotional expression. From an evolutionary perspective, the attraction to heart-shaped faces in women reflects male preference for honest signals of femininity and fertility, while the relative rarity of strongly heart-shaped faces made them memorable and distinctive in mate competition. However, heart faces create specific challenges. The narrow chin and delicate jaw can be perceived as weak or lacking authority, creating disadvantages in leadership contexts. In men, heart faces violate masculine norms by lacking the strong jaw associated with dominance, potentially creating social costs. The emphasis on upper facial width can make faces appear top-heavy, and the dramatic taper can look unbalanced. The strong association with femininity that benefits women creates costs for men with this facial structure. Wide face, wide face shape, distinct from round faces by having angular features and strong bone structure with width exceeding typical proportions, affects approximately 10 to 15 percent of the population. This shape is characterized by broad face width relative to height, prominent cheekbones, and strong facial bone structure. What makes this powerful is its correlation with aggression, dominance, and cold adaptation through different mechanisms than long faces. Wide faces correlate with high testosterone, aggressive behavior, and competitive success in males, with research showing wide-faced CEOs achieve better financial performance, wide-faced hockey players spend more time in penalty boxes, and wide-faced men win physical confrontations more often. The broad facial structure may have evolved partially as cold climate adaptation since the reduced surface area per volume ratio minimizes heat loss from facial tissue, protecting against frostbite in extreme cold. For ancestral groups, Wide-faced males succeeded in competitive contexts through both physical advantages and social perceptions of dominance. The facial structure honestly signaled the testosterone and aggressive tendencies that created it, functioning as a hard-to-fake dominant signal in male competition. 
From an evolutionary perspective, wide faces in males represent a sexually selected trait that provided competitive advantages in male hierarchies, while in both sexes the structure provided cold climate adaptation in specific populations. However, wide faces create significant social costs. Wide-faced individuals are perceived as less trustworthy, more aggressive, and more threatening, creating disadvantages in cooperative contexts requiring trust. The association with aggression and dominance that benefits males in competition creates costs in contexts requiring cooperation. In women, wide faces can violate feminine beauty standards. The perception biases mean wide-faced individuals face discrimination in contexts where trustworthiness matters. Still, in ancestral contexts where male competition determined reproductive success, where physical dominance provided tangible benefits, and where cold climate survival required thermal adaptation, wide face shape provided advantages that outweighed the costs in cooperative contexts. Narrow face Narrow face shape affects approximately 10 to 15 percent of the population, characterized by face width substantially less than typical relative to length, creating elongated, slender proportions. Narrow faces increase surface area to volume ratio, enhancing heat dissipation through facial blood flow, representing tropical adaptation. Populations from hot, humid environments show higher frequencies of narrow faces, suggesting selection for thermal regulation in heat stress conditions. For ancestral groups in tropical environments, narrow faces provided thermal advantages, where increased facial surface area enhanced cooling through increased exposure of blood vessels to air, preventing dangerous overheating during physical exertion in hot climates. The facial structure correlated with overall body plans optimized for hot environments. In some aesthetic contexts, narrow faces are perceived as elegant, refined, or model-like, particularly when combined with high cheekbones. From an evolutionary perspective, narrow faces represent climate-specific adaptation that provided survival advantages in hot environments, even if they created vulnerabilities in cold climates and social perception costs in contexts where facial width signaled dominance. However, narrow faces carry specific disadvantages. They are more vulnerable to cold injury. Increased surface area means more heat loss and greater frostbite risk in extreme cold. The narrow structure can appear gaunt or undernourished, creating negative perceptions even at healthy weights. The deviation from population averages can create perceptions of unusual appearance. In contexts where facial width signals dominance or competence, narrow faces create disadvantages in competitive hierarchies. From a balanced oval face shape that signals developmental stability to the round face that signals energy reserves. From the square jaw that signals dominance to the heart shape that signals femininity. From climate adapted long and narrow faces to the thermal efficiency of wide faces, each shape reflects the interaction between environmental pressures, sexual selection, and honest signaling. Understanding your face shape means recognizing not a beauty standard to meet or fail, but an evolutionary heritage, a set of proportions that made sense in your ancestors' environment and social context. Don't just watch the world. Subscribe to learn and understand.